Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to implement user defined exceptions in Java. So let's get started. In Java, we have several predefined exceptions, but sometimes we cannot use these predefined exceptions for our programming needs. So let me take an example where a user defined exception is required in our programs. I'll do this with a practical demonstration. For that, I'll open this Eclipse ID. I'll create a class, say demo class, and I'll create a main method inside this demo class. I'm auto generating it. I'll remove this comment. Now here, let me write a program which states int age is equal to five. Okay, I'm just assigning the age as five for now. Now I am writing some programming requirement where I'm checking whether the age is greater than 10. Okay. If age is greater than 10, then I should not allow. Let's assume that guys, let's assume there is a children park. Okay. There is a children park. Only the children who has the age up to 10 should be allowed into this park. If someone more than the age of 10, try to enter into this park, we'll stop them. Okay. Programmatically, we have to throw an exception, a customized or user-defined exception we have to throw. We, in this case, we cannot use the predefined exceptions, okay? In this case, we cannot use some predefined exceptions. Rather, we'll create some our own user-defined or customized exceptions, which will throw when a person having the age more than 10 tries to enter into the park, okay? So now int age is equal to five. If age is greater than 10, then I have to throw an exception, okay? Throw new, what is the exception I want to throw? More age, okay? I want to throw more age exception. Is this more age exception a predefined exception? No, right? But we can create this kind of customized exception. Let it be there, let the error come, not a problem. Here I'll put a message saying, age need to be, age needs to be less than 11, okay? To enter into our park, age need to be less than 11. That is a message I want to show. When the exception comes, this is a message that should be displayed in the exception details, okay? That's it. Now, but since this is a, but since this particular thing is a user defined or customized exception, we are getting this error case, okay? If it is a predefined exception, we'll not get this kind of exception. For example, if I give exception here, exception is a predefined, right? You see, I'm not getting error, okay? This is okay, this is okay, that's fine. But you see, I'm not getting error. So what if I give more age exception? This is a customized and user defined exception, which doesn't exist in the Java. So can I create such kind of more age exception? Yes, there's a possibility guys. So what I will do is I'll create another class, right click new class. I'll just call this with the same name. That is more age exception, right? I'll just write down more age exception and uh, click on finish. The class got created. The class with the name more age exception got created, but here is the rule guys, okay? Here is the rule. If you want this particular thing to work, I'll just drag it here so that you can see both the code. So this is the Java code and this is exception, user defined exception code. So here, what we have to do is, we have to make this more age exception, a child class of exception class, predefined exception class in Java, okay? This is a number one thing, okay? You have to extend the exception class in Java. And second thing is inside this more age exception class, you see still the error is not gone. Still the error is not gone. It will be gone in a while. I have to create a constructor guys. The constructor will have the same name as a class name, right? Public more age exception. It will, constructor will not have any return type and it will simply have the name of the class as it is. So here I'll say string message. And inside this, I'll say super of MST, okay? Super of this message. So here, whatever the message you are passing, okay? Whatever the message you are passing, that will go here and it will be passed to the super constructor. Who is the parent of this uh, more age exception? Exception. So it will work there like that, okay? Save this. Now, what we have to do is, over the mouse, you see it says throws and all. So I'll do one thing. I'll just surround this with try catch block. Okay, I'll surround this with try catch block. Try catch. Here I will say more age exception E. 
you see the error is already gone and i'll say e dot print stack trace that's it okay so here which exception i'm using guys i'm using more age exception okay I'm using more age exception, which is a customized exception. If you have to create such kind of customized exception, you have to extend that class with this exception class. And here you have to create a constructor like this, which will call this super constructor. Super constructor belongs to the exception class because exception is a parent of the more age class. You see, now the things are okay. Now save this. You don't have any errors. Now let's, let me run this code. Let me run this code guys. The code will work seamlessly. So if the age is not greater than 10, you will not get any exception, okay? It will work. Right click run as job application, you will not get any exception. You say nothing will happen in the output, you will not get anything. But the moment you say 15, okay? A person having the age 15 cannot enter into the park. If he tries to enter, 15 greater than 10 will be triggered. And because of that, the exception that is customized and user defined exception will be thrown. Okay, so the exception is created here. So it will work, right click run as. Java application, you see the exception will be thrown. Which exception got thrown? More age exception got thrown, which is a customized and user defined exception. And it says that the message is coming here. Age needs to be less than 11. Okay, at which line we got this exception? At the Java 12th line. Uh, that is here. Here it is thrown, guys. Okay, at this particular line 12, it is thrown. So this is how, guys, we can create our own customized or user defined exceptions in Java. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.